And now that we've added the button and the lap timer uh, control logic in, let's go ahead and test this out by executing the, uh, the model here. So we'll go ahead and save this. And uh, what we can do at any moment with Rhapsody is go ahead and generate code and uh, execute the model. We could also uh, make modifications directly to the source code and round trip those changes back into the model as well. Uh, in this case, we'll, to save time here, we'll just go ahead and execute the model and test this to make sure it uh, is working the way it's supposed to. So we'll go ahead and generate the code. And once we've uh, completed generating the code, we'll go ahead and compile. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, build the uh, the configuration here. So in this case, I'm uh, just using uh, uh, the CDT f uh, for Eclipse to go ahead and compile um, the CDT perspective to go ahead and use Sigwin to compile the uh, the application here. All right, so everything looks like it completed and compiled successfully. So now we'll go ahead and actually uh, run uh, the, ex the the code here. Now when I run the code. Uh, it's going to go ahead and, and uh, send uh, information back to the Rhapsody uh, IDE here so I can see from a model perspective how the model is, uh, is executed, executing. So uh, we'll give ourselves a little bit of space here. Here we can see uh, the sequence diagram we saw before, except this one's empty. This one's now going to record uh, what I'm doing as I generate different events into the model. So we'll go ahead and, and hit go here and we can see the constructors being called for each one of our, our different objects here. Now we can go ahead and generate, uh, stimulate the application with different signals. In this case what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and uh, bring up that uh, panel uh, that uh, we saw before and use the panel to help stimulate the model. So uh, let's test out the stopwatch basic functionality first. We'll do a press and release and that should go ahead and actually start the timer. So we can see the timer clicking away here and if we go back to the sequence diagram, we can see it's capturing all the messages or operation calls between the, uh, the various classes here. Okay, so uh, that, look, that seems to be working properly. Uh, we could also take a look at the, uh, the animated state machine. Uh, so for the timer class, uh, we have a state machine that describes its behavior. And if I want to go ahead and view the uh, behavior of that as the model executes, I can see that here. So we can see the... Uh, it's right now flashing back and forth between the colon and uh, now what we can do is go ahead and test the lap time. So uh, let's go ahead and do a uh, uh, at uh, 35 seconds here we'll go ahead and do a lap press followed by a lap release which will show the current lap time 35 seconds and then it'll continue counting on. Now if I do this again at 45 seconds it should show us a lap time of 10 seconds so let's try that again. We'll do a press and release we now show it shows the lap time for three seconds and then goes back to showing the elapsed time. So everything seems to be working. Uh, uh, Dev feels pretty good. Everything seems to be working as expected. So uh, what we can do now is just go ahead and uh, quit out of the animation uh, and uh, go ahead and complete our, our task here. So we'll close down some of these windows. And uh, let's go ahead and save off the model. And again, just as we saw before, um, Rhapsody, or sorry, uh, Rational Team Concert is keeping track of my changes to the model uh, as I make those changes. So what we can do now is go ahead and uh, check in and deliver those changes. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once again, we can go ahead and uh, choose the lap timer control. Uh, as the uh, item, we can now see the change set associated with that particular uh, work item. And now we'll go ahead and say that... Uh, uh, we've uh, completed the development here. All right, so um, the last thing we want to go ahead and do now is actually do an integration build so that Tanuj can now test the latest features here. So uh, back over here in Rational Team Concert, in the Team Artifacts view, uh, Rational Team Concert has a build engine as well, and what I can do now is go ahead and request a build. And what this will do is not it actually go ahead and generate code from the model uh, and go ahead and create a build. And uh, we can see that uh, it's currently uh, running the build right now. And this takes a, a few moments to, to complete the build. Once it's completed, we can go ahead and tag it and say it's ready for, for testing. Now, while that's building, uh, just uh, quickly back here in Rhapsody, uh, one of the, the way we're going to run the test cases is we're actually going to use Rhapsody's test conductor tool, which allows you to create model-based tests uh, using things like sequence diagrams or state machines or, or even just code. So Deb here has created a number of test cases already. 
And if we look down in here, we can see a number of those test cases. One of those is testing lap in a seconds rollover, which is really just a code-based test case to, che to check to see if, you know, if uh, we do a lap store of a lap time uh, during a seconds rollover from 60 seconds back to zero, that uh, it still calculates lap time correctly. So we'll actually automate the calling of this test case from uh, Rational Quality Manager. That's what Tanuj will do in the next segment. All right, so let's see if our build is uh, completed. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just uh, refresh this here. And we can now see that the build is indeed completed. We can bring up the details for that build. And uh, we can go ahead and associate any work items uh, with that build. So maybe we want to go ahead and, and again, associate uh, the lap timer control. And we can also tag it as saying uh, it, that it's ready for test. So Tanuj knows it's a good build that's ready to, uh, to be tested. So let's go ahead and save that. All right, so at this point, uh, Deb's done her work. She's tested it uh, by doing some model execution. Now she's done an integration build, and it's ready to be handed to Tanuj to, to do some testing uh, uh, within Quality Manager.